Hello, beautiful, precious brethren. I hope you're all doing well in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I come before you. Um, and so turn with me to Psalm 49, verse 20. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. What's a beast? Turn with me to Matthew 23. We look at Matthew 23. And Jesus said in verse 33, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? Genesis 1, verse, I mean, chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast in, in, of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the, well, let's go, to the next part, um, verse uh, 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go. And turn with me to Revelation. You see Revelation 20, the serpent. Uh, 20, Revelation 20, <clears throat> verse 2. And laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So when you're looking at 20 and looking at Revelation 17 and 18, you see, um, you know, these, these people obey and follow and worship the serpent, the beast. Um, then go to, and I've talked about how the Greek fraternities have told me that um, proclaiming, proclaiming Jews, which are the synagogue of Satan, go in there and teach them to do all manner of abominations. Teach them to worship the illuminated ones, which are the Illuminati or the illuminated. Um, but Jesus said, be careful. The light you think you have isn't really darkness. Um, they tell me that they teach them to do all the things they do. And at the Greek fraternities, they have serpent painted on their fence. And it's got a big old wide mouth with a split tongue. And then they have a welcome sign for angels. So these are the ones that are worshiping angels and the apostles in them said not to worship angels. And even Revelation, uh, the angel that gave Jesus, John the Revelation didn't worship the angel. The scriptures say that we will judge the angels in the end. Um, and it's with his word. His word judges them. So in Luke um, 2.52, turn to Luke 2.52 with me. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Now, did God, did Jesus have favor with the priests? Not all of them. Some of them repented and believed that he was the Christ, but most of them hated him. And hate, if Jesus said, if you have hate in your heart, you're in darkness. So Jesus is talking about the darkness. So did he have favor with those men? No, they were like beasts. He called them serpents. Okay. Psalms of David talk about the serpent, the, the poison of the tongue of the serpent. It's like a poisonous egg. Okay, so man rules over serpents, beloved. <laughs> so Jesus had favor with God and man, not beasts. People who act like beasts, they are beasts. A copy left to you.